Good morning children. Let us be thorough with the formula to answer objective type questions quickly. Chapter 3 Theory of Equations Choose the correct answer. Question number 1 0 of x cube plus 64 equal to 0 is as we know x cube I can write minus 64 or x is cube root of minus 64 and we know minus 4 into minus 4 into minus 4 gives us minus 64. So the cube root is just minus 4. So option 4 is correct. The other method since they have given you the four answers just substitute wherever x comes I can put 0 it is not satisfied put 4 it is not satisfied put 4i it is not satisfied. When I put minus 4, it is minus 4 the whole cube minus 64 plus 64 that gives us 0. So one way I can directly solve or just substitute each value in the place of x. Check the right answer. So here the correct option is 4 and the answer is minus 4. Question number 2. If f and g are polynomials of degree m and n respectively and if h of x is f composition g of x then the degree of n is to be found out. The degree of f composition g of x is the product of the degree of f of x and g of x given f of x degree m, g of x degree n. So the product will be m into n. So the answer is m into n. Option 1 is the right choice. Question number 3. A polynomial equation in x of degree n always has n distinct roots, n real roots, exactly n roots at most one root. It is a polynomial equation in x of degree n. By the fundamental theorem of algebra, we can declare it as exactly n roots. So option 3 is the right choice. Question number 4. If alpha, beta, gamma are the zeros of x cube plus p x square plus q x plus r. We need to find what is sigma 1 by alpha. I know sigma 1 by alpha is 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta plus 1 by gamma. Taking LCM alpha, beta, gamma. As we cross multiply, it is beta, gamma, alpha, gamma, alpha, beta. To arrive at these values from here, I can write alpha plus beta plus gamma single root when I take it is minus coefficient of x square by this number that is minus p by 1. When I take double root combination alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha it is plus the next coefficient q divided by 1 and when I take all together it is minus the next number say r by 1. So alternatively we put negative positive negative p by 1 q by 1 r by 1 for single double and triple. As I substitute here the double combination my answer is q and alpha beta gamma my answer is minus r. So together we read minus q by r. The correct answer is minus q by r. Option 1. Question number 6. The polynomial x cube minus k x square plus 9x has three real zeros. If and only if k satisfies. Four conditions are given. The polynomial is x cube minus k x square plus 9x. I can take x as common. I am left with x square minus kx plus 9. This x will give me one answer. 
So, this should yield two real roots. So, x square minus kx plus 9 should yield two real roots. So, if I want two real roots, this x square minus kx plus 9, the discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0. What is the discriminant? b square minus 4ac. That should be greater than or equal to 0. As I compare, this is ax square plus bx plus c. So, in the place of a, we have 1. In the place of b, we have minus k. In the place of c, we have 9. As I substitute b squared minus k, the whole square. Minus 4 into a, 1, c is 9, which should be greater than or equal to 0. k square greater than or equal to minus 4 into 9 minus 36 goes to the right as plus 36. Or as I take square root, k square, I will write modulus of k greater than or equal to 6. So, the right option is 4, that is mod k greater than or equal to 6. Question number 8. If x cube plus 12 x square plus 10 ax plus 1999 definitely has a positive 0 if and only if 4 conditions are given. Suppose I have a greater than 0. Tell the symbols it is x cube 12 x square plus 10 ax plus 1999. If a is positive it is only plus plus plus. There is no change of sign. So I cannot declare about positive 0. But it is mentioned definitely a positive 0 is there. So, this implies A should be below 0. So, x cube plus 12 x square plus 10 ax plus 19.99. Now, A is negative. So, this symbol is negative. The remaining we have positive symbols. So, here there is a change and here there is a change which tells us two positive roots. At most, I can say two positive zeros. So, the question declares there is a positive zero. So, this tells me there are two sign changes. So, at most two positive zeros are there. So, definitely A should be less than zero. Now, there is a question. Can A be equal to zero? If A is equal to zero, again there is no change of symbol. Plus, plus, plus only will come. So, less than or equal to 0 should not come. Only option is A less than 0. Option 3 is the right choice. And we say A less than 0 is correct. Question number 9. The polynomial x cube plus 2x plus 3. Again, the question is about the number of zeros. This is f of x as I consider. If I write the signs, it is plus, plus, plus. No sign change at all. That tells me no positive zeros. Now find out f of minus x. Minus x the whole cube. 2 into minus x plus 3. So, we get minus x cube minus 2x plus 3. How about the signs? It is minus minus plus. There is one sign change. So, this tells me there is one negative 0. At most, one negative 0. What is the power? The power is 3. That tells me 3 roots must be there. But no positive zeros, only one negative zero at the maximum. So, the remaining must be imaginary because there is constant. It does not have zero as the root. 
or it does not have zero as the zero. So constant present tells me zero is not an answer. No positive zeros. At most one negative zero. So the remaining definitely must be imaginary. So we can say at most one negative zero and two imaginary zeros. So which is the right option? Option number one. So we have option number one is the right choice. Question number 10, the number of positive zeros of the polynomial sigma r equals 0 to n, n c r minus 1 power r x power r is to be found out. r ranges from 0 to n. So when r is ranging from 0 to n and we have the term n c r minus 1 power r x power r. Signs we need to find out. We have minus 1 power r. Only this describes the signs of the terms. NCR, x power r will not define anything. We need to find out minus 1 power r. So first time when I put 0, minus 1 power 0 is positive. Minus 1 power 1 negative. Minus 1 power 2 positive. So as I put R 0, 1, 2, 3 up to N. It is going to be positive, negative, positive, negative. Because when the power is even, it is positive. When the power is odd, it is negative. So plus, minus, plus, minus and so on it goes. How many terms? N plus 1 terms. Because it ranges from 0 to n. So there are n plus 1 terms. When there are 3 terms, 2 sign changes are there. So 2 positive roots will come. When there are 4 terms, 1, 2, 3. 3 sign changes are there. So when there are n plus 1 terms, n sign changes will be there. So if there are n sign changes, we will immediately declare n positive zeros are there. So the question is number of positive zeros because there are n plus 1 terms. We have n sign changes and so there are n positive zeros. So option 2 is the right choice.